This is a small example of how we might lose our connection to our truth, to our intuition, to our sense of reality, even as kids. And the example I'm going to give is really common. And it's, it's the one I'm going to give is around a mom, but it could easily be a dad or a teacher. In fact, uh, I suspect that most children get many of these kind of uh, experiences growing up. So I knew a mom and she was very loving, very sensitive, and she was going through a really hard time and she was upset, but she was soldiering on, like just, you know, dealing with all her obligations and things. And her child came up to her and put her arm around her leg and said, Mommy, are you sad? Now, the child knew the mum was upset and sad. But the mum, you know, just picked up the child and said, No, mummy's fine. Don't worry, you know. So the child got then a disconnect, got a you know, got a, a, a wall put up, really. Um, the mum put up a wall and the, and the child would, you know, would have disconnected from their truth a bit. They'd either disconnect from their own truth or they would have to feel the great grief of what they felt to be true not being validated by their mother because really that would be quite terrifying for a child. Because a child knows, like children know, they know with their bodies, their hearts, their eyelashes, their hair, they just are unified with knowing truth. They just, kids, they're simple. They just tell it like it is. So when these things would have happened to, you know, by far the majority of us, and this is like a very gentle example of the kind of things that make us disconnect you know, any kind of trauma in the family would too. But this kind of thing is um, just so explicit. So this is part of why we, we grow up um, and we're not no longer sure of our inner data and we turn away from the truth of our hearts. And so this is why we get lost in life because our usual... Uh, you know, our true north compass is bent and distorted, so we we can't navigate. So we think there's something wrong with us. And there isn't. This is just, you know, this is what happens to human beings. I mean, you know, Wordsworth used, to, the poet used to talk about, you know, innocence and then innocence lost and then innocence regained. And innocence regained is higher than than just the innocence because it includes the innocence but it also has the wisdom so you know this is what happens to us all we have our innocence and and the innocence gets lost and then it's up to us to be willing to connect up to our true nature or not or connect up to our true life or not and we can do it any time it's usually quite an uncomfortable process with a lot of sorrow and fear, <laughs> which is, you know, maybe why it's not done by everyone. But if you've, if you've got the courage, you know, if you really want your true, your true north back, your the life you came here to live, you, you'll have the stomach to feel the, the sorrow and the fear and you just feel it and, you know, keep giving it over to something higher than just yourself, some higher power. And I'll tell you, life will support you and bring you back so that your, that your true, your compass is no longer bent and you've got your connection to truth inside yourself and the connection to your heart and you can steer to where you meant to be. Okay. I know just watching the videos helps this. 
And my energy is always working with you if you wish it. And this kind of journey is the bravest thing a human being can do. But, you know, considering what's happening in the world, you know, it's kind of safer actually to wake up. So, <laughs> um, okay. Bless your hearts.